Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the sound waves. Sound waves mean it's a sound is a form of energy which creates the sensation of hearing to human ears. Sound is a form of energy which creates the sensation of sound, sensation of to hearing to the human ears. That is the sound wave. Here, when we clap, then our hand means our muscle energy can create the, can create the sound. The sensation can be heard by the human ears. Means the muscle energy is converted into the sound. So that's why here we can say that sound waves can be created sensation to the human ear. That only can we can hear the sound. Then here sound waves are longitudinal waves. Means whenever the sound waves are to propagate through the medium, then compressions and refractions will be formed. Compression and refraction will be formed. Due to that, we can clear the sensation. Then the range, frequency range of sounds, the frequency range of sounds between 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz or 20 Hz to 20 kilohertz. 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz or 20 Hz to 20 khz sounds or the frequency range is called as the audible range. 20,000 Hz to 20,000 Hz frequency range of sounds can be called as a audible range and a less than the 20 Hz sound frequency range of 20 Hz less than the 20 Hz range is called as a infrasonic range infrasonic range and more than the 20,000 Hz more than the 20 means a greater than the 20,000 Hz sounds or frequency range is called as a ultrasonic range Frequency range is called as a ultrasonic range. So, this infrasonic and ultrasonic sounds cannot be heard by the human ear because of the audible range is only for 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz only. Below the less than the 20 Hz, greater than the 20,000 Hz, the sound, the frequency range cannot be heard by the sense by the human ear. So, that's why infrasonic and ultrasonic are not here sensible to the human ear that is not audible sounds only 20,000 Hz below the less than that 20,000 and it's so the greater than that 20 Hz sounds can be heard by the human ear that is called as audible sounds in this case the velocity of the sound the velocity of the sound in air in air at room temperature and on normal pressure at room temperature and pressure at room temperature and normal pressure is the 332 meter per second 332 meter per second which is a 1200 kilometer per hour 1200 kilometer per hour the objects the objects which are moving more than greater than the speed of your sound the object which is traveling more than the greater than the speed of sound are called as the supersonic object supersonic speed that speed is called as a supersonic supersonic speed sir and one more thing is sound waves cannot propagate or cannot travel without any medium without medium sound waves cannot uh, propagate these are the sound is a form of energy which creates the sensation to human ears to hear hearing sensation then uh, sound waves are longitudinal waves and the uh, Below between the 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz frequency range sounds can be heard by the human ear. Less than the 20 Hz sounds are called as the infrasonic sounds and greater than the 20,000 Hz sounds are called as the ultrasonic sounds. The velocity of the sound in air at room temperature and pressure is 332 meter per second in which are 1200 kilometer per hour and uh, the objects which are traveling more than the means greater than the speed of a sound are called a supersonic speed. The speed is called a supersonic speed. Without any medium, sound cannot propagate or cannot travel. This is about a sound waves. So, speed of a traveling wave. Just now we have discussed about the sound wave. Whenever the sound is traveling, means uh, when a progressive wave, when the wave is in progression, then a wave is moving in positive x direction. 
we are moving in a positive x direction at a two instant we have taken the when the at a time the fall development wave is the, the instant are a progression wave a progression wave progression wave from time t to t plus delta t is the small interval of time then the its position displacement can be captured means the speed of the tail can be observed by observing the crust of the progressive wave crust of the progressive wave when the wave is traveling along the path to x direction means uh, when the wave is traveling in the x direction by observing the crust uh, we can derive the velocity or speed of a traveling wave then the progression wave from the time to wave taken the two instant of time uh, the first wave at the time t and the uh, after some time is small there is a small interval of time is there t plus delta t so that way we have taken the progression wave time t to t plus delta t that is small interval of time small interval of time small interval of time is a uh, delta t and uh, there is a small displacement at the same pace there is a small displacement which is having the delta x first wave projection first at a time t the displacement of the wave is x and after some distance after some distance means at the second instant of time the displacement of the wave will be the small change in displacement that is delta x so that way we can write that then x plus the x2 x plus delta x be the change in a displacement so that's why we can write that here the progressive wave time has taken the two instant of time that the small change in interval of time then its displacement is having the same pace means here pace is the constant pace is the constant so that's why we can write that the velocity can be written as the, the velocity or speed the speed or velocity can be written as v is equal to delta x by delta t we know that delta x by delta t means the general rate of change of displacement is called as the velocity so that's why we are writing that here the rate of change of displacement is called as velocity v is equal to delta x by delta t here is that the total value changes to that t changes to t plus delta t and as well as the displacement changes to x plus delta x x plus delta x here is that we know that value here is that at any point wave will move with the same speed because when the two instants of time has taken in a small interval of time when the time t the displacement of the crust the point the particle is in this position and after the t plus delta t a small interval of time taken the change in time of interval the position displacement is also changes so that's why we can write that a small interval of time changes to z plus delta t and this to the x plus delta x be the position then k x minus omega t is equal to constant k x minus omega t is equal to constant here is that when then a t changes if time changes then x also changes because of the position of the particle also changes with the respective time so that's why here the same pace but the pace remains a constant so x also changes must be must be phase at constant phase at a constant phase at constant so that's why we have written that k x minus omega t is equal to constant k x minus omega t is equal to constant we can write that so that's why we are substituting this uh, equation this ego equation that we can get k x minus omega t is equal to in this equation x changes to x plus delta x and t changes to t plus delta t because of we are making the two instants of time so that's why from the initial wave is at time t the small instant of time for a time changes then our position displacement is also changes to x plus delta x so that's why k of k of x plus delta x minus omega of t plus delta t by the calculation we can write that k x plus k into delta x minus omega t minus omega into delta t 
So from this equation we can write that kx minus omega t is equal to this kx kx will be cancelled and minus omega t minus omega t will also cancel. From this equation we can remain factors are k dot delta x minus omega into delta t. So that's why we are writing that k into delta x minus omega into delta t is equal to 0. From this equation we can write that, that delta x by here delta x and delta v is vanishingly very small. Delta x comma delta t are small. Delta x and delta t are very small. So that's why we are writing that here the delta x and delta v becomes delta x by delta t is equal to we can write that omega by k. But we know that delta x by delta t means the rate of change of displacement. So that's why we are writing that here the omega by k is equal to v. Omega by k is equal to v. From the equation omega by k is equal to v we can write that. But we know that from the angular frequency and angular wave omega is equal to 2 pi nu and as well as k is equal to 2 pi by lambda. We are substituting these two equations in the v is equal to omega by k then we can get v is equal to omega is equal to 2 pi nu and uh, k is equal to 2 pi by lambda. The 2 pi 2 pi will be cancelled. The uh, lambda is the denominator for denominator. Denominator for denominator. So that's why lambda becomes numerator. V is equal to nu into lambda. This is the universal equation for general equation for progressive waves. We can write that V is equal to nu lambda V the general equation for general equation for progressive waves. That is the speed of a traveling wave. Once again, when the wave is changing with a small instance of time, the displacement is also changes, but in the they have the same pace. So that's why the displacement of the crust here, the delta x with the small interval of time is the delta t. So that's why at the first wave is the t time and second wave is small change in delta t. So that's why t plus delta t will be the small change in interval of time. So that's why progression time changes to t to delta t plus delta t and as well as the its position x changes to x plus delta m. So, but we know that the wave is moving with constant speed at any point. So that's why V is equal to delta x by delta t means uh, velocity is equal to the rate of change of displacement or the rate of change of position is called V is equal to delta x by delta t. So that's why at any point the uh, wave will move with same speed so that's why chase time, the time changes then its the position also changes. So that's why the phase remains a phase constant. Phase a constant. Phase remains a constant. So that's why here kx is minus omega t is equal to constant. Then kx minus omega t is equal to x as changes to the x position changes to x plus delta x. So that's why k of x plus delta x minus omega of t plus delta t. Means uh, t changes to t plus delta t. Initial wave and uh, second instant of wave. Then if we multiply it inside, then we can get uh, kx minus omega t is equal to kx plus k dot delta x minus omega t minus omega into delta t. Then k dot delta is the remaining factors of cancellation. The remaining factors are k dot delta x minus omega dot delta t is equal to 0. Then delta x and delta t in this factor, the delta x and delta t is the small interval of time and small interval of changes this position, change in position. So that's why they are vanishingly very small. So that's why we are writing that delta x by delta t here, delta x by delta t is equal to omega by k. But we know that delta x by delta t is equal to the rate of change of displacement. So we are writing that delta x by delta t is equal to omega by k that is equal to v. That is equal to v. And uh, so that's why we are writing that here the value omega is equal to we know that omega is equal to 2 pi nu and as well as k is equal to 2 pi by lambda from the omega is angular frequency and k is the angular wave number limit before we have discussed in the before three videos. So omega is equal to 2 pi nu and k is equal to 2 pi lambda. If we substitute the equation in the more equation omega by k then we can get a v is equal to nu lambda. So from the v is equal to nu lambda is the <coughs> general equation 
general principle for progressive wave, general equation for progressive wave. As well as we can write that, we know that mu is equal to 1 by 10, means uh, the reciprocal of time period. From the time, we can write that lambda by t. Then, uh, from this also, lambda is equal to v to t also, we can write that. Here, the wavelength of the wave, the wavelength of the wave is depends on its uh, velocity and its uh, time period. This is about a we are here we should forget we should not forget about a v is equal to new lambda this is the most important thing formula in the further topics we will use more use that formula v is equal to new lambda this is the important v is equal to new lambda we will use the formula in a when the medium is at a the medium is at a or a light a where the medium is at A or back. Clear? If is there any medium, is there like a string or another medium is there, then we will use the density and also linear, de linear density and mass density also taken. So that's why this is the equation for the all for general progressive wave, equation for the general equation for the progressive wave for R wherever it is taken in A or back. General equation for progressive waves thank you